Most teachers and school board members NBC News spoke to indicated that the mud houses which teachers constructed for themselves to serve as temporary shelter could not withstand any type of weather condition. They say the non-availability of official accommodation for teachers has a negative impact on the provision of education to learners as teachers are subjected to harsh conditions which directly affects their performances. At some schools, teachers have no choice but to share accommodation in an already overcrowded single-room mud house due to non-availability of official accommodation. We have approximately 28 to 29 teachers that are residing at the school, but even though there are few of the teachers who are sleeping outside the outside the school yet, but majority of us we are sleeping at the school. But it's only four to five teachers who are sleeping in the permanent house. But the rest of us is just in the shacks and mud houses, which are not in a good condition. It's unfortunately, so that you find that some of the teachers who are sharing uh, one shack, maybe there are three to four teachers. I think you can still go ask them, there are some of the teachers there that side. The situation really is very embarrassing if you look at the, it's showing a very bad picture. Sir. Teachers, they, they are not comfortable, especially accommodation wise, it's, uh, it's far from what it should be. When you look around, what you see is you will be amazed at these places where teachers teach, who teach, where they live. There's no season that this accommodation is okay. During summer, it's worst. During the winter, it's not acceptable. During rain, this place is full of snakes. You cannot sleep. Imagine teachers going as far as the thick bush to ease themselves, taking bath on a godly hour. Those things are far from what it should be. They are not uh, acceptable at all. The principal at Diana Combined School, Bernard Mukerenge, said teachers also have to draw their water from the Kavango River where they risk being attacked by crocodiles. For a teacher to move with a wheelbarrow uh, uh, to the river is too dangerous. And you see the distance between the school and, and the river. So it's almost two to three kilo. So this is how we are suffering, how the, our teachers are suffering. Because not all are members in the community, majority of teachers uh, at, at this school, especially Diana, they are from other places. They came here to, to help our learner, to teach our learner. And this is, when we talk about learners, this is a new generation for Namibia who will come up and help this country again. The Shamangorwa Senior Secondary School Principal Godfrey Maira said that because of the harsh living conditions, most qualified teachers who fill up vacant teaching posts at most schools in the Mukwe circuit always take transfers to other schools with better accommodation. There are many qualified teachers who used, who used to be appointed by the Ministry of Education But when they are appointed, when they reach the school, they see where others are sleeping, definitely they will jump back to their cars and go back to the better schools who are having good accommodations. Those are the challenges as well. Maira warns that if nothing is done to improve the living conditions, more qualified teachers will leave, which will result in increased failure in the Mukha circuit. He appealed to the Kavango Education Regional Office to address the accommodation crisis at most combined and secondary schools in the Mukwe constituency.